So I now want to have a look at some of the breakdown structures we can use to understand our project. Currently showing on the left hand side is a breakdown structure. Uh, this one happens to be called Grand Block. And dropping down the panel there, we can see we have quite a lot of different possibilities for this project. Uh, the Grand Block is a fairly standard one. And we can see that if we were to use the hierarchy to hide some of the model elements, this um, breakdown structure shows both hull and outfitting in a fairly typical architectural view of the project. There is another one here called um, blocks where we can see uh, that this shows us much more about the systems itself. Uh, we don't see the surrounding structure. So fairly typical breakdown structures for a, a ship project. Let's um, see some of the other ones. So we can see the project in terms of compartments. Um, let's find our way through to the, the engine room workshop. Focus in on that. So you can see with this one, we have an area here um, of a few bits of systems within that space, but having the hierarchy allowed us to jump directly to that area and exclude everything that might not be important from the rest of the vessel. So it's not just kind of what I would call architectural views of the project. We could, for example, have a look at some of the, the systems. So we've got various options here. Systems and lines is the most obvious one. Let's take a look at the fuel oil cargo, for example. We'll examine it. Now we can then see the extents of that system throughout the vessel. Uh, I've already shown some of the options on the toolbar there for zooming in and seeing that. But being able to access the systems in this way will allow us to make some um, considerations and decisions around um, the extent of the system, uh, understanding penetrations and other maintenance issues that may affect it during um, both fabrication and operations. Hierarchies can also come from, say, fabrication or other types of information. So uh, here is a section for isometric drawings and spools. If I go to a system that we've already looked at in a previous video, um, tracing our way through to this item here and going to examine it will take us back to our propulsion space that we've looked at previously. Uh, we can dig into that information then through this hierarchy structure. So far, I've primarily focused on data that happens to come from the, the model itself, the project. The data and breakdown structures can come from external systems. So if I were to be interested in the production status of the nesting, then I can build a hierarchy from the nesting information and external systems. So let's hide all the information that's not associated. Uh, let's also um, clear our area there. So we can see here, this is all of the structure that's currently within the nesting system. And if I browse through, we can see the plates associated with each nest coming up. If I open out this item here, then we can browse through the individual plates. Again, we get the information associated with these plates in respect of the nesting shown up on the right hand side. There's another way of getting some feedback about status. In fact, uh, another type of breakdown structure that we can see on top of the typical tree. Uh, using the visualization tools, we can shade components in different colors to indicate certain statuses. So in this case, I'm shading my plates in terms of being fully nested in red and fully cut. So now we know that we have the potential to make a decision around making changes. Certainly parts that are already cut, we really don't want to change. And even if in the nesting system, then we should really think about the types of changes that we, we want to make. Again, I have the, you know, this gives us the ability to project this information further afield. So 
were I to look at the part list, for example, we can see here that we have the um, nesting status uh, projected on top of this document. So we can see um, the associated information, not just on the 3D model, but on top of the documents itself. Similarly, we can see that on a drawing. It allows us to see that the reference items are again colored in green and red just like the 3D model was.